Welcome to your coverage of Missoula Sports Heroes. You're tuned in to the Missoula Prep Sports Network live stream of local sports. Ladies and gentlemen, Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, gentlemen. This presentation of Missoula Sports is proudly powered by Fuel Fitness, the only gym from Montana for Montana. Check it out. MPSN is your leader in Missoula's prep sports. Woo! We now take you to the action on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Everybody hustles out there, okay, guys? Nobody quits. Thank you for tuning in to this presentation of Missoula Sports. What a rush! MPSN's coverage of Missoula Sports is proudly powered... Sorry about that, folks. Welcome to Shelby, Montana. Chris Stratton for the Missoula Prep Sports Network as we are live from the land where the land kisses the sky. It is a gorgeous one here in Shelby. It's a balmy, beautiful day. And we are set to go. The Loyola Breakers taking on the Cutbank Wolves in the opening game of Saturday's action here at the 2018 Coyote Classic. And the Breakers coming off of a win over the host team Shelby last night. The Ramley making their way in with large cups of coffee ready to go. And the JV team huddled up across the way as well. It's going to be a good one, folks. Uh, these uh, Both these ladies battled it out pretty hard yesterday. Cup Bank in a close one yesterday against Malta. It was a win for the Malta girls, 66-57, uh, as they, uh, Cup Bank, went 0-1. But the Breakers 1-0 after getting the win over Shelby last night. 64, or I mean, uh, yes, 46 to 44. I almost gave you the boys score over Shepard, 64 to 40. The Loyola Rams will have the late, or have a game later today. 5.30 is the expected tip-off time for the boys against Shelby. That'll be another good one here for the Rams and Breakers. And looks like Mr. White, the athletic director here at Shelby High School, is inspecting the hoop. Oh, they're putting the, the re- hooping the net onto the hoop. About 60 seconds away, we're going to have the national anthem for you. We'll step aside when that does happen. But the Loyola Breakers and the Cutbank Wolves getting ready to tip off here in about 60 seconds. Ramley making their way in slowly. It's going to be a good one here. Shelby, what a gorgeous little city in the middle of the northern part of Montana. You know, I love our state. It's just a beautiful place. Doesn't matter where I go. Um, I was born in the east and raised in the west, and it is uh, such a great place to be. I would. There's no other place I'd rather be on a Saturday morning than right here at the gym, in the gym in Shelby, Montana, as we get ready to go. We're going to go ahead and step aside while they have the national anthem. When we come back, we'll get you your starting lineups. You're listening to Loyola Breakers basketball on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Locally owned Paradise Falls is a place for friends and family to enjoy breakfast, lunch, and dinner seven days a week. With a diverse menu and a fun atmosphere that includes nearly 30 TVs showing every sport imaginable, Paradise Falls is sure to have something for everyone. Get Montana strong at Fuel Fitness and Nutrition. Montana owned and Montana proud. Your $29 a month Montana Mega Gym. Fuel has premier facilities with the latest equipment, nutrition superstores, high energy classes, refreshing smoothie bars, attentive child care, expert trainers, and we never close. Best of all, you have access to six locations statewide for just $29 a month. That's less than a dollar a day. Get Montana strong at Fuel Fitness and Nutrition. Go to clubfuelfitness.com right now to find a Montana location near you. Mike's Print and Copy is your locally owned print shop. Whether it's custom letterhead or business cards, Mike and his friendly staff understand that your business is important to you and will make sure that your project is handled in a professional and timely manner. Drop into Mike's Print and Copy to have them take care of your printing needs. Stop by 1503 South Russell or give them a call today at 406-728-3363 to have Mike's Print and Copy take care of your printing needs. Mike's Print and Copy is a proud sponsor of high school sports in Missoula and the surrounding community. 
Have you recently found yourself in a situation where you need a lawyer? Give our friends at Tip Coburn and Associates a call today. They have been practicing injury, employment, and criminal defense in addition to other areas of law for the past 55 years. Give Tip Coburn and Associates a call today at 406-549-5186 or stop by their website at www.tipcoburnandassociates.com. Tip Coburn and Associates, lawyers fighting for Montana since 1959 and proud sponsors of Missoula Prep Sports on MPSN. Locally owned Paradise Falls is a place for friends and family to enjoy good food and good times. With a diverse menu and a fun atmosphere that includes nearly 30 TVs showing every sport imaginable, Paradise Falls is sure to have something for everyone. Welcome back to Shelby, Montana. Chris Stratton for the Missoula Prep Sports Network as we are ready to go. Starting lineups on the floor between the Cut Bank Wolves and the Loyola Breakers. And we'll start with the Cut Bank Wolves starting a lineup. Number 12 is a 5'11 junior. That's Jada Rides at the door. Number 14, a 5'10 senior, Bryn Finstad. Number 24 is a 5'4 senior. That's Jasmine Spotted Bear. Number 42 is a 5'9 senior. That's Madison Seifert. And number 50, a 5'5 five, five senior, that will be J.C. Friedenlund. Now for your Loyola Breakers starting a lineup as we flip back through. There we go. Loyola Breakers and the Wolves are coached by Brandon Kavanaugh. Now for the Loyola Breakers, number two, a 5'11 junior, Sam Clevenger. Number five, a 5'7 firecracker of a freshman, that's Laney Walker. Number 10, a 5'8 senior, the only senior on the squad, that's Ashton Libel. The team leader, number 11, a 5'6 junior, Sydney Copang. And rounding it out, a 5'7 sophomore, number 20, Kelsey Ash. So the girls are on the court, they are shaking hands. Loyola Breakers are wearing their white jerseys, they've got the They've got the navy and scarlet stripes down the side of the shorts. They've got the scarlet name and number and a navy blue outline. Cut Bank, they have their purple jerseys on with the white stripe down the side. They've got a gold name and number with a white outline. The official approaches halfway midcourt. The whistle, the ball is in the air. Clevenger has got it in the air, but Cut Bank will take over. Ball on the near side as Cut Bank will go left to right, popping the three right out of the gate and dropping it. That's J.C. Friendland, and she's going to knock one down right away to make it 3-0. Cut Bank. Breakers moving right to left. Laney Walker, she'll go to the baseline to Kelsey Ash, and Kelsey Ash cannot handle the pass, and it's picked up by Cut Bank right out of the gate. It's rides at the door. We get a whistle and a travel. And these girls were pretty impressive by Spotted Bear. So the Breakers will inbound Sydney Copang underneath her own basket. She's going to go high to the top to Walker, and Spotted Bear is going to get a hand on it. Out of bounds, smartly defended by Walker. And now the Breakers will inbound in front of their own bench. They are to the right of the scorer's table. I'm perched up above the scorer's table as the inbound will go to Kelsey Ash. She's guarded closely by Frendenlin. Copang gets the handoff at the top. She'll dribble drive and the pass out to the far side to Walker. Walker's going to drive in off the back of the glass and it's picked up by Cutbank. Seifert will control, gets it out to Friendland. Friendland will drive it up 3-0. Cut bank as it's into the lane and out of bounds. It will be Loyola ball. Inbound by Clevenger. 2-2-1 set by Cutbank and Copang's going to break it on the run, crosses half court on the near side. She'll give it out to Clevenger who will drive in underneath the basket and Libel will be fouled as she puts the ball up and we'll have our first trip to the free throw line of the day. And it's going to be on rides at the door. That'll be her first of the game. Here's Libel. First one off the glass. Libel had two points last night, did not have an opportunity at the free throw line. The official says one, bounces the ball back to Libel. She sets her right foot at the line. 
Here's the dribble and the shot. Off the back of the rim and rebounded by Cutbank. Findelin will cross half court on the far side, picked up by Lenny Walker at midcourt, drive in far side, into the corner. Now it's at in to Seifert. Seifert to Finderlin. Finderlin with the dribble drive off the glass. The rim and it'll go in. And it's 5-0. Cutbank. Press going right out of the gate for Cutbank. Laney Walker will dribble around the double team out to the near side, Kelsey Esch. Kelsey Esch will feed it in, and right there is Seifert to take it away. Pass intended for Walker. Ball brought up the court, far side. Now the drive in by Spotted Bear, and she'll draw the foul. It's going to be on the line, not a shooting foul. And Laney Walker will pick up her first. So the inbound on the far side. Nope, they're going to go underneath the basket. Originally, they pointed to the far side. So underneath the basket, it's out to Seifert. She'll shoot from the free throw line. It'll bounce around the rim and fall in. And Cutbank charges out to a 7-0 lead over the Breakers. 6.03 left in the first quarter. Here's the bounce to Libel on the ba baseline. And they're going to say she traveled before the pass to Copank. Early game. Got to settle things down as... Libel will come to the bench, and in comes Laney Denning for the Breakers. And the Breakers are going to go ahead and jump into Cutbanks. Press. Coach Walker wanting an explanation on a call. Now we'll get into the game. Pass to the far side on the inbound to Spotted Bear. Spotted Bear will charge forward on the near side, crosses midcourt, dribbles low. And a good poke by Clevenger and forces her to pick up her dribble. Finderlin will come with the ball now at the top. Picked up by Clevenger. Spins. Fed into Seifert. Seifert will get the roll and it's good. And the Cutbank Wolves lead 9-0. 5-34 left in the first quarter. Clevenger with it at the top. Clevenger will dribble to the far side. She's picked up by Spotted Bear. Bounce pass to Denning on the near side. Baseline to Clevenger on the near corner. Out and poked away, out of bounds. It'll be Loyola Ball at midcourt on the far side. And the Cutbank bench fired up. You can hear them, and they were a little, they were fun to watch in the warmup. Inbound to Walker as they were dancing and clapping and going along with the music in the background during the warmups. Walker crosses half court and comes to the near side. She's picked up by Finderlin. Drive on the baseline, too much on the glass, and rebounded. Poked away, and Kelsey Esch is going to be called as. Her and Spotted Bear run into each other after the pass. So that's two team fouls for the Breakers now, one under the Cutbank scoreboard. Spotted Bear will cross half court in the bubble and come to the near side, going left to right. Here's the bounce pass to the top to Fenderlin. Fenderlin comes back to the near side to Spotted Bear. Spotted Bear back to Fenderlin at the top. They swing it far side to Rides at the door. And now Finstad. Rides at the door on the baseline. Cross court. Finstad shot. Long two. And she'll put it in. 11-0. Cut bank. 4.35 left in the first quarter. Walker. Drives in, comes to the near side. Kelsey Esch will set her feet. Three-pointer, and it's the bottom of the net. Kelsey Esch gets the breakers on the board. 11-3 with 4.22 left in the first quarter. Spotted Bear to Finderlin on the far side. Back to Spotted Bear at the top. Swings it near side to Finstad. Back to Finderlin on the far side. Into rides at the door, who goes to Seifert. Seifert drives, and Seifert will not get the bucket, but she will go to the charity stripe. And Clevenger picks up the third foul for the Breakers. As Cutbank goes to the line for the first time, Seifert. Seifert. Here's the first one. It'll bounce off the front, the back of the rim, hops around and drops in. Second opportunity now. Ball is in the air, and that one will roll off the front of the rim. No good. And Copang will bring it up. Copang is fouled by Spotted Bear on the reach. Ball will be on the far side. Foul 
Marley Berry in as Finnerland will take it away from the breakers. Now Berry on the baseline and she'll get the hopper. 14 to three. And a good poke away on the run by Spotted Bear. 3.48 left in the first quarter. Seifert will have a seat. And that brings in number 30, Brianna Black. To the top to Walker. Walker comes near side to Esch. Esch will dribble. She's got the only points in the game for the breakers with the tray. Here's Walker, bounce pass, far side, and a poke away, thrown to the middle, and it's picked up by Cutbank. Here's Spotted Bear on the near side, comes to the stop, Finlin, Finnerlin off the front of the rim on the three, rebound, put back, and it's good. That is Black. Sixteen to three, Cutbank shot no good, poked out of bounds by Kelsey Esch. 3.16 left in the first quarter. And Coach Walker says, let's talk about it. Calls a timeout. We'll step aside. You're listening to Loyola Sports on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Locally owned Paradise Falls is a place for friends and family to enjoy breakfast, lunch, and dinner seven days a week. With a diverse menu and a fun atmosphere that includes nearly 30 TVs showing every sport imaginable, Paradise Falls is sure to have something for everyone. Welcome back to MPSN. Chris Stratton and Shelby Montana for the 2018 Coyote Classic. The Loyola Breakers starting the day off the Saturday portion of the tournament. They are down to, to cut bank right now, 16 to 3, 316 left in the first quarter. The Ramley, the only fans really in the building. There are some Shelby fans, a few cut bank fans, but the Ramley outnumbering. The Breakers are going to go ahead and go into a press, broken very quickly by cut bank. It's Finderlin on the near side. She'll drive in, hands up and off the bottom of the hoop. This will be chased down by Kelsey Ash. She's got Walker on the run who finds Clevenger. One dribble, shot, glass, good! And one for Sam Clevenger. Spotted Bear will pick up her second. And they'll go ahead and rotate Finstad back in and rides at the door is out. So Clevenger with the N1. Here's the shot. Off the front of the rim, it'll roll around and pulled down by Finstad. Ball brought up the court by Finstad and Kelsey Ash gets a hand on it. Girls dive to the floor at the three point line and we get jump ball, possession arrow favoring the breakers. So they'll inbound in front of the scorer's table. Walker to do the inbound to Copang. Copang to control. Copang has been a shining light on this breaker team since her freshman year. Walker with it on the near side. Copang posted up. And Copang will get it on the near side now. Now to the top to Clevenger. Clevenger will drive in far side, stops, pivots. Cross court to Walker, Walker on the near side, drives to the free throw line, she'll toss the floater up, it's off the rim and rebounded by Cutbank. Fritterlin will bring it up court. Near side, setting her feet, shot, three pointer, off the rim, rebound by Cutbank, put back up, high off the glass, poked at and it is rebounded by Denny. Here's the shot. Kelsey Esch, three-pointer, no good. Rebounded by Finstead. 151 left in the first quarter, 16 to five. As Kelsey Esch will grab it at midcourt in front of the scorer's table, we get a whistle and they're gonna say she stepped on the line at midcourt trying to gather the ball. Brooke Twight will come in and give Lanny Walker a breather with 144 left in the first quarter. 16-5, cut bank. Breakers have settled into their defense now. Ball on the far side, in the hands of Big Spring. Big Spring loses control, 
but quickly picked up by Black. Three-point shot taken, and Clevenger will race, and it's going to be out of bounds at midcourt. Breaker ball, far side. Here's the inbound from Twight to Copen. She stands in the bubble, now drives into the top of the key. Swings it to Twight on the far side. Twight backs off. Kelsey Ash now with it at the top. Swings it to Clevenger, far side. Clevenger can dribble, she does. Drives a baseline. She'll put it up off the glass. Off the rim, no good. To the top to Denning, who swings it to Twight on the far side. Copang will go in, Twight with the dribble, and now Clevenger. Clevenger out to Copang at the top. Copang will dribble to the near side, and they're going to say travel on Copang. 50 seconds, 5-0 on the clock. First quarter. Breakers 5, cut bank 16. Fred and Lynn dribbles, gives it off near side to Big Spring. Big Spring swings it, cross court now, and poked out of bounds. This will be breaker ball on the turnover. And, you know, it's the first beginning of the year, and that's kind of what the theme has been so far of the tournament is just ball control. A lot of turnovers, and it's all the way across the board. doesn't matter the team, the conference, the level as this one's gonna be poked out of bounds and it'll be cut bank ball in front of the breaker bench, 34 seconds left. And that's what they do, that's why they have these tournaments is get the girls and boys into their game readiness. I mean, you guys can practice and practice and practice, but when you get somebody that's playing a different style of defense, different style of offense, gives you a different look, well, that's when you really look and see how tight you are. Here's the three-pointer, no good. Copang on the floor to fight for it. It's Finstead out of bounds and it's gonna go off of a breaker. Cut bank ball underneath their own hoop. 23.2 on the clock. Ashton Leibel will come in. Clevenger has a seat. Here's the inbound pass. Spin. Black off the front of the grim. And they're going to say white ball with 19 seconds left. Finstad's going to pick up her first foul. That'll be three now for... Cut bank, five for the Breakers. Copang will inbound to Esch. Press set, 16 seconds. Breakers will bring it up. Finstad in the face of Copang. Swings it to Twight on the far side. 11 seconds. Copang at the top, eight seconds. Copang drives in, free throw line. Esch with a three, and it's off the rim. No good, three seconds. Fought four on the floor. Finderlin will pick it up. Zero on the clock, and the long three-pointer will be no good. So it's a... 11 point lead for Cutbank here at the end of the first quarter. We'll be back right after this with the second quarter on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. The Round Carlino Investment Planning Group of D.A. Davison & Company is a proud supporter of Loyola Sacred Heart Athletics. D.A. Davison & Company is your hometown investment team. As certified financial planners, Ray Round and Sidney Carlino create smart strategy of wealth planning and investment management. Take advantage of the largest full-service investment firm in the Northwest and Ray and Sidney's experience. Call 543-8244 today. D.A. Davison & Company, member SIPC, the strength of advice. Construction is tough work. Lone Bro is an energy services company with more than 900 employees. Lone Bro's third largest expense was health insurance. Payne West partnered with Lone Bro to create a health and wellness program. Lone Bro built an in-house gym and together we developed a biometric screening program. Since initiating our program, our employees are happier, healthier, and more productive, and our costs are lower. Payne West Insurance, a partner in the health of your business. Welcome back to MPSN. Chris Stratton and Shelby Montana for the 2018 Coyote Classic. Loyola Breakers tipping the day off against Cutbank. Cutbank start of the second quarter. We'll have the ball in the lead, 16 to five over Loyola. Going left to right are the Wolves and it's passed into the corner to Barry. Swung to the near side. Into the game for the first time is London Raymaker. Now it's fed in and rides the door, will be fouled by Denning. Laney Denning picking up her first foul and rides at the door, will go to the free throw line for the first time today. 
First one up off the back of the rim, no good. Second one up. And that one will hang on the front of the rim before it drops in. 17-5, cut bank. Walker back in will drive, comes to the near side. Denning, she'll pop the long two off the baseline. Shot no good or rebounded by cut bank. Ball pushed up the court. Now stopping just before midcourt. Goes underneath and a poke on it by Copang and Kelsey Esch will come up with it. Finderlin will come in on Walker and she'll be called for the foul. On the reach, it'll be a breaker ball on the end line. Cut bank will go into their press once again and actually the official at midcourt comes up and says, no, this is on the side. So it'll be inbound about 15 feet up from the end line on the far side. Walker will get it on the run, crosses half court, finds Ash on the baseline, swings it to Denning. Denning will pop the jumper, rattles around, and Laney Denning's got two points to make it 17-7. Cut bank, 7-13 left in the first quarter. Rimaker comes to the near side. On the baseline is Seifert. Seifert swings it to Finderlin on the far side. Finderlin will drive it in, now fed in. Seifert, shot off the glass and it's good. She has got a strong shot as Seifert's got six points in the first half. It's 19 to seven. Copang on the near side, she'll drive in and she'll fall. Are they gonna get rides at the door for the reach? They're gonna get rides at the door for the push. That'll be number four, number five as a team for Cup Bank. Six for Cup Bank, four for the breakers, and now Walker will be fouled on the shot by Seifert. So Laney Walker will go to the free throw line for the first time today to earn two points, to try to earn two points. And the first one is off the front of the rim. 6.43 left in the first quarter. Breaker seven, cut bank 19, and checking in for the first time as a breaker is Demblin's Dushan. Off the back of the rim and rebounded by Finstead. Walker is right in Fenderlin's face and she'll get it across half court. Back to the top to Finstad. Finstad, ooh, almost. Good back foot. Drove in, now on the near side. Seifert, Seifert, bounce pass underneath the basket. Finstad will swing it. Two point shot, no good. Bounces around and last touch by Denning. Out of bounds. Cut bank ball underneath their own basket to the right. 6.22 left in the first half, 19 to seven, cut bank. Inbounds pass, Walker gets a hand on it, out of bounds, breaker ball, even though it last touched Coach Walker who was kneeled down in the corner over there. Going into the press, and Natalie Clevenger brings it up court. Now to Walker in front of the scorer's table. Walker will go to the top. Finstad gets a poke at it. Copang will come up with it. She'll give the shovel pass. Now near side, it's Clevenger. Now the drive in by Walker. She'll split the defense high off the glass. It'll ro rattle around, no good, out of bounds. And it'll stay with the breakers. Sam Clevenger will come in. Laney Walker will have a seat. So we've got the Clevenger sisters, Natalie and Sam. Demblans Dushana. Denning and Copang. Here's the corner shot by Clevenger. Air ball right into the hands of Copang. And this is going to be a bonus shot for Sydney Copang as she is fouled by Finstad. So Sydney Copang to the free throw line for a one and one. Copang last night did go to the charity stripe. She was in the second half, four for eight as this one's gonna be pulled down by Walker, I mean by Copang, and she'll control on the near side. Copang will drive in, splits the defense, and Seifert will get a hand on it, out of bounds. Coach Walker wanted a foul on it, but won't get it. Checking back in for Cutbank is Black, and Finstad will have a seat. 
Copang to inbound underneath their own basket. 5.45 left in the first quarter. High to the top to Natalie Clevenger. Swings it near side to Denning to Copang in the near corner. Back to the top to Clevenger. Clevenger will drive in, splits the defense. Nice step and she'll be fouled. Sam Clevenger is going to go back to the free throw line. Friedland picking up her second. And Clevenger will shoot two. First one off the front of the rim. No good. 5.36 left in the first half. 19 to 7. Cut bank. Loyola Rams will have the 5.30 game tonight. Shot up now. Off the front of the rim, it will fall in, and Sam Clevenger will go one for three, and Cutbank will call the timeout now. Eight to 19, Cutbank. We'll have a quick timeout. You're listening to Loyola Sports on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Locally owned Paradise Falls is a place for friends and family to enjoy good food and good times with a diverse menu and a fun atmosphere that includes nearly 30 TVs showing every sport imaginable. Paradise Falls is sure to have something for everyone. Welcome back to MPSN. Chris Stratton, Shelby, Montana, as Loyola Breakers opening up the Saturday game games against Cutbank. Cutbank with the lead, 19 to 8. Cutbank will have the ball out of the timeout, inbound on the far sideline. At the top with it is Barry. Barry will dribble to the near side. Poked away, and it is Natalie. Clevenger up to Sam Clevenger. Bounce pass to Kopang. She'll control. Kopang splits the defense off the bottom of the rim. Kopang puts it back up, and this time she'll get the foul. So Sydney Kopang to go to the charity stripe. Seifert will pick up her second. Here's the first shot by Kopang. She'll get it to slide over the front of the rim. Walker will sub back in. As Denning will have a seat. And Spotted Bear will come back in for Cutbank. Here's Copang with the second. She'll knock that one down with a swish. And it's 19 to 10. As Copang will have a seat. And Kelsey Esch will come in for the breakers. Spotted Bear goes to the far side. Fed back to Spotted Bear on the near side. Spotted Bear swings it. Now to the baseline. Hand up. Jumper off the rim. No good. And Sam Clevenger is there with a the rebound. Jump ball. Possession arrow favors the breakers. Good effort by Sam Clevenger. And a good, addi a good addition to this breaker system is Dem. Demblins, Deshana. She's a six-foot freshman. And they've got her down on the line as this cut bank. Here's Walker driving in. She'll find Clevenger far side. Thought about the three. Now Clevenger will drive in. A poke at it by Spotted Bear, and it comes up in the hands of Seifert, who throws it right to Walker. Walker shoots from the free throw line. Shot no good. A rebound, and now... It's Spotted Bear on the run. Clevenger gets back, and Spotted Bear will put it off the glass. It rattles around and falls in. And Spotted Bear will have her first points of the game, making it 21-10, 4-18. Here is Natalie Clevenger. Three-pointer, no good. Kelsey Ash will turn and shoot, and she gets fouled. So Ariana Black will pick up her first foul. And that will send Kelsey Esch to the free throw line for the first time today. Esch was one for two in the fourth quarter yesterday. As she'll knock down the first one. Seifert will have a seat. And that brings in Gabriella Anato. Shot. 
No good, and they say Kelsey had her foot on the line. Shot did go in. Makes it 21 to 11, 407 left in the half and errant pass out of bounds. Breakers will sub in. Copang will come in for Demblin Duchamp. Walker to bring it up court. So it is Walker, Copang, Natalie, and Sam Clevenger with Kelsey Esch. Copang feeds it into Clevenger who's triple teamed. Now fed in and it's taken away right away by Black who throws it to Walker. And this one's off the glass, and Natalie Clevenger has two to make it 21-13. Kelsey Esch with the steal. Walker will drive in, comes near side, off the glass high, and that one was tipped from the back by Black. And Black comes up with the rebound. Now it's Spotter Bear crossing half court on the far side, 328, the drive in, Copang hands up, out of bounds, and they say it is off of Copang, good job by Sydney Copang to stand tall, put her hands up, and let Spotted Bear run right into her. Spotted Bear standing at the free throw line. She thought she was going to get points, but it is out of bounds, so they will have inbound off of Copang. And good job by Natalie Clevenger to fight it off. It'll be breaker ball in front of their own bench. 3.23 left in the first half. Walker will bring it up. Right to left. Stops at the top, dribbles, bounce pass to Copang on the far side. Copang cross court to Kelsey. Now to Sam Clevenger. She'll dribble around off the glass and it's good. Sam Clevenger makes it 21-15. Breakers, 3.01 left in the second quarter. Far side in the hands of Barry. Barry comes to the top to Big Spring. Big Spring. Back to Barry. Barry feeds it in. Black dribbles to the far corner. Poke at it by Clevenger, and they're going to say off of Anato. Breaker ball. And Sienna Spotted Bear will come in, as well as Brooke Twight. And Big Spring will have a seat for Cutbank, and Kelsey Esch will have a break for Loyola. Copang brings it up right to left, swings it to Twight on the far side. Cross court back to Copang. She feeds it in to Natalie Clevenger. Natalie picks up her dribble to Twight at the top. Twight comes to Copang on the near side. Copang fakes left, right, swings it to Twight. Twight cross court to Walker. Walker fakes the three, drives in, and she'll be poked at by Spotted Bear. Goes to the floor, no whistle. Brought out. Copang is there, poked at, and it should be, and it is Loyola Ball in front of their own bench. 2.16 left in the first quarter, or first half. 21-15, Cutbank. Breakers on a surge here in the second quarter. Walker with it on the near side, cross court to Copang. She can knock down the three, but she'll drive in. Spins, pivots, shot blocked by Black. Black will dribble it out, now picks up her dribble. High, Twight is there, pokes at it. And Black will come back up with it. Swings it to Pot Spotted Bear on the far side. She'll cross half court on the run. Copang is there, high off the glass, and it goes in for Spotted Bear. Spotted Bear has got four points in the second quarter to make it 23-15 with 144 left in the second quarter. Here's Clevenger on the far baseline. She'll drive in underneath the basket, and she's going to be fouled by Anato. Sam Clevenger going back to the free throw line. Clevenger, one for three coming in to this free throw. She'll knock down the first one. You know, sometimes the early games are just tough. Worked with uh, Montana legendary coach Raleigh Sullivan doing games a couple years ago as Clevenger will knock down the second one to make it 23 to 17, 138. And they're gonna say double dribble turnover breaker ball I asked coach Sullivan one time at the state tournament I said what do you what did you do to get your girls ready for the early games he said you know what we got to the stadium early as this one's poked away and picked up by Cutbank and nice job by 
Natalie Clevenger to poke at the ball. She does draw the foul. It's only the fifth for the breakers. That's her first, but it prevents any shot. So coach, what did you do to get the girls ready for that early game as Walker's gonna take it away from Spotted Bear. Walker on the run now. She's just got Spotted Bear to beat. High off the glass and it goes in. Laney Walker has her first points of the game to make it 23-19. Breakers, Black with it, having trouble controlling. Coaches, and there's a travel and Cutbank unraveling. Here comes Finland. He said, we used to get to the stadium early and then we'd throw the girls into a cold shower and that would wake them right up. I said, seriously, coach? He said, oh yeah, the girls knew it. They didn't like getting up for those early morning ones because they knew what was coming. But that's how he got his girls ready to go for those early games, wake them right up. Natalie Good Sullivan, or Natalie Clevenger with it on the far side. Walker gets it now, bounce pass to Copang at the top. 53 seconds left, swings it to Copang. Copang dribble drive, swings it out. Twite will shoot the three from way outside. Off the back of the glass, no good. Rebound underneath the glass, Copang, and she'll draw the foul. 42 seconds left in the half, and... Anata will pick her per second. 42 seconds left in the half. Copang at the line. First one off the rim. She makes the second one. She can make it a three-point game. Here's the second. Off the back of the rim, no good. Anato will get the rebound. Copang is there to fight for it. Coming up with it is Spotted Bear. Spotted Bear crosses half court with 37 seconds left. And we get a whistle. And Walker will pick up the foul. It's her second. Not a shooting foul. So it'll be on the end line. The Breakers with six team fouls. Six fouls as a team. Cut bank with 10, double bonus. Inbound on the far, I mean on the end line to Finderland. Finderland has her pocket pick by Kelsey Esch. Esch will get it up to Twite. Twite on the run and they're gonna say she traveled. Shot off the glass did go in, but it is a null and void due to the travel. So with 27.4 on the clock, Finnerlin will inbound it to Spotted Bear, who will cross half court in the bubble. Goes to Finnerlin on the far side. Swings it back to Spotted Bear. Spotted Bear to Black. Black will throw it at the hoop. Off the glass, no good, 14 seconds. Copang will run the far side. She's got two to beat, Copang fakes the pass. The shot off the glass and it's good. Sydney Copang with her first points in the paint. Makes it 23, 21, three seconds. Here's Spotted Bear from the free throw line. Off the glass, it'll bounce around. The buzzer shot, no good. And the Breakers will make it a two point game as the halftime buzzer sounds. 23, 21. Cutbank, we'll be right back with halftime. You're listening to Loyola Sports on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Stitches of Missoula is your resource for embroidery and screen printing. Give Stitches a call today at 406-529-2632 to speak with their super friendly staff and have them take care of your embroidery needs. From business logos to team jerseys, Stitches Embroidery can help you and your team look good. Check them out online at stitchesmontana.com to see their full line of silkscreen and embroidery options. Stitches is a proud sponsor of Prep Sports on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Locally owned Paradise Falls is a place for friends and family to enjoy good food and good times. With a diverse menu and a fun atmosphere that includes nearly 30 TVs showing every sport imaginable, Paradise Falls is sure to have something for everyone. Plonk. It's a unique bar and restaurant in Bozeman. It was a big financial decision to find the right bank for our growing business. We decided on Opportunity Bank of Montana. They have great mobile banking, which is good, because we're always on the go. I already had a home mortgage with them with great interest rates. We met with Bert, our new banker, our friend, and now we have a second restaurant in Missoula. It was a great opportunity. Hockey Wolf and Lacrosse Wolf is Missoula's one-stop shop for all your hockey and lacrosse needs. Check this out. It may be warm outside, but you can still take care of your hockey fix in their one-third sized indoor rink. Really? 
Wow, crazy. Stop in to 1010 North Avenue West and see what they have in store for your hockey needs. Hockey Wolf and Lacrosse Wolf is a proud sponsor of high school sports on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Locally owned Paradise Falls is a place for friends and family to enjoy breakfast, lunch, and dinner seven days a week. With a diverse menu and a fun atmosphere that includes nearly 30 TVs showing every sport imaginable, Paradise Falls is sure to have something for everyone. Benz with health insurance. Payne West partnered with Lowenbro to create a health and wellness program. Lowenbro built an in-house gym and together we developed a biometric screening program. Since initiating our program, our employees are happier, healthier, and more productive, and our costs are lower. Payne West Insurance, a partner in the health of your business. Have you recently found yourself in a situation where you need a lawyer? Give our friends at Tip Coburn & Associates a call today. They have been practicing injury, employment, and criminal defense in addition to other areas of law for the past 55 years. Give Tip Coburn & Associates a call today at 406-549-5186 or stop by their website at www.tipcoburnandassociates.com. Tip Coburn & Associates, lawyers fighting for Montana since 1959 and proud sponsors of Missoula Pep Sports on MPSN. Welcome back to MPSN. Chris Stratton from the Missoula Prep Sports Network in Shelby, Montana for the 2018 Coyote Classic as Loyola Breakers and the Cutbank Wolves are tipping off day two of the tournament. We're at halftime. The Breakers lead. I mean, the Breakers are down to Cutbank 23-21. Loyola Rams will have the 5:30 game this afternoon and on the docket Today, coming up after this one, the Florence boys will take on Malta. Big Fork boys will have the next game at versus Shepherd. Big Fork girls will play the 2:30 game. The Big Fork or the Florence girls will play the four o'clock game, and that's the games on the western side of the state that well we have interest in. We'll go ahead and step aside. When we come back, we'll have your halftime stats. You're listening to Loyola Sports on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Have you recently found yourself in a situation where you need a lawyer? Give our friends at Tip Coburn & Associates a call today. They have been practicing injury, employment, and criminal defense in addition to other areas of law for the past 55 years. Give Tip Coburn & Associates a call today at 406-549-5186 or stop by their website at www.tipcoburnandassociates.com. Tip Coburn & Associates, lawyers fighting for Montana since 1959 and proud sponsors of Missoula Prep Sports on MPSN. Plonk. It's a unique bar and restaurant in Bozeman. It was a big financial decision to find the right bank for our growing business. We decided on Opportunity Bank of Montana. They have great mobile banking, which is good, because we're always on the go. I already had a home mortgage with them with great interest rates. We met with Bert, our new banker, our friend, and now we have a second restaurant in Missoula. It was a great opportunity. Locally owned Paradise Falls is a place for friends and family to enjoy breakfast, lunch, and dinner seven days a week. With a diverse menu and a fun atmosphere that includes nearly 30 TVs showing every sport imaginable, Paradise Falls is sure to have something for everyone. Get Montana strong at Fuel Fitness and Nutrition. Montana owned and Montana proud. Your $29 a month Montana Mega Gym. Fuel has premier facilities with the latest equipment, nutrition superstores, high energy classes, refreshing smoothie bars, attentive child care, expert trainers, and we never close. Best of all, you have access to six locations statewide for just $29 a month. That's less than a dollar a day. Get Montana strong at Fuel Fitness and Nutrition. Go to clubfuelfitness.com right now to find a Montana location near you. Benz with health insurance. Payne West partnered with Lowenbro to create a health and wellness program. Lowenbro built an in-house gym and together we developed a biometric screening program. Since initiating our program, our employees are happier, healthier, and more productive, and our costs are lower. Payne West Insurance, a partner in the health of your business. Garden of Reading has a large stock of books, gifts, music, toys, and more. Stop in to Sacred Grounds for their full-service coffee bar featuring Missoula's best gourmet coffee. While you're there, pick up a pound of Garden of Reading's award-winning fudge and get a half pound for free. Garden of Reading is Missoula's home for the best dietary supplement, Define 8. Garden of Reading is located at 2621 Brook Street. Garden of Reading is a proud sponsor of Prep Sports on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. 
Locally owned Paradise Falls is a place for friends and family to enjoy good food and good times. With a diverse menu and a fun atmosphere that includes nearly 30 TVs showing every sport imaginable, Paradise Falls is sure to have something for everyone. Welcome back to Shelby, Montana. Chris Stratton for the Missoula Prep Sports Network as we are just about 65 seconds away from the start of the third quarter where the Cut Bank Wolves lead the Loyola Breakers 23-21. What a first half of play we have had as the girls have played their lights out. It was 16-5 at the end of the first quarter, but the Breakers swung the pendulum their way and outscored the Cut Bank Wolves 16-7 in the second quarter to get back into it 21-23. Leading scorer for Cut Bank, that'll be Madison Seifert, she is seven points, six points in the paint. And JC Friendland, she has five right behind her. She opened the game up with a tray. Cut Bank shooting 50% from the charity stripe and 17 on the, the long ball. For the Loyola Breakers, well, it'll be Sam Clevenger with seven points and a team effort as Sydney Copang and Kylie Ash, or Kelsey Ash have four points apiece. The Breakers, 38% from the free throw line, going six for 16, shooting 20% from downtown as Kelsey Esch hit the three to get the Breakers on the board in the first quarter. It'll be cut bank ball to start the second half. Cut Bank will go right to left wearing their purple jerseys with the gold name and number. Breakers will have the right end basket going left to right wearing their white jerseys with the scarlet number and the navy name. Ball into the near corner to Finderlin as we get right into it. Shot off the glass, off the rim, no good. Fought for by Walker and putting it back up. Shot no good, but Seifert will go to the line to Go to work once again. She is a force in the paint, folks. 5'9", senior. First shot off the front of the rim. She went one for two in the first half. Second one. Will hang on the rim, no good, and Kelsey Ash will come down with the rebound. Poked at by Finnerland, she'll come up with it. Underneath the Spotted Bear, Spotted Bear right underneath the basket, puts it high off the glass. Finnerland will fight for it, and it's going to be breaker ball. That'll be number three, Friedelin. And she picked up two in the first half, and she saw the bench right away as they were quick ones. Kelsey Esch will get the inbound to Walker. Walker's going to push past the full court press, drives right into the lane. Good move, and it's poked out from behind by Seifert. Out of bounds, breaker ball. 7-33, third quarter. Inbound high. And it'll be liable to pick it up, and they're going to say over and back. It looked like Spotted Bear got a finger on it, but the official on the court with a better view says over and back. Oh, they're going to give it back to the breakers. On the call, okay. So Walker inbounds to... Copang, Copang into the near corner, now to Walker at the top. Swings it to Ash on the far side. Ash will dribble out to the top, now the pass to Copang. Copang backs off to the bubble, now drives to the far side. The walk, hand dribble handoff, now to Walker at the top. Gets a good screen, fed in to Libel. Libel high off the glass, can't get it to go. Libel with the rebound, and it's out to Copang. Copang drives the far baseline, the jumper over the top of the hoop, and it's right to the door. Copang steals the pass. We get a whistle, and this is going to be Spotted Bear picking up her third. So the Breakers coming out with some fire here in the third quarter. And Copang leading the charge. She's been a team leader all three seasons. Starter as a freshman. Tessa Burke graduating, and, well, 
some big shoes to fill. Here's Leibel, high over the hoop. Copang with the rebound, and it's put back. There's Kelsey Ash. Ash will, Ash will have the steal. Walker drives in. The floater to Copang. Copang out to Clevenger. Clevenger drives. She'll spin and shot no good, but she draws the foul. And this one's going to be on rides at the door. That'll be her number. Th that'll be her third. That'll bring in Sienna Spotted Bear. So the Spotted Bear sisters on the court. They're going to say it was on the floor, so no shots. 6:42 left in the third quarter. 23-21. Nobody able to find a bucket. Copang smartly off the back of the cut bank defender. Rebound. Kelsey Ash will fight for it on the floor, and Clevenger comes up with it. Clevenger with the dribble. Out to Walker. Walker finds Copang. She'll drop the three, and it's off the back of the rim. No good. Cut bank will run with Finnerland. 6.22 as she crosses half court on the far side. Picked up by the double team of Walker and Copang. Now she'll split it. She'll drive in and draws the foul. Shot no good. And they're going to get liable. That'll be Libel's first. And Finderlin not able to hit the first one. Second one will be the bottom of the net though. Ball at the top in the hands of Clevenger. Given to Walker at the free throw line. Walker finds Esch on the baseline. She'll drive in off the glass, and it's good. Kelsey Esch, first points in the paint. Makes it 24-23. Cut bank. Ball on the near side. Uh, Finstad finds Seifert, and the shot is no good. Copang will run on the far side. High pass to Walker. Walker will go to Esch near baseline. Esch will jack it. No good. And it's Finnerland with the rebound. Finnerland will run. Ash with a poke at it and causes her to slow down. Crosses half court with 522. Stands at the top. Now swings at far side to Spotted Bear. To Sienna Spotted Bear. Fed in. Seifert off the glass. Shot no good. Libel is there. We get a whistle. And this is going to be breaker ball. And Finstad's going to pick up her third. So Finstad rides at the door. Spotted Bear. And Finnerland each have three for Cutbank. And they've got four team fouls here right away. We get a whistle as Spotted Bear forces a jump ball. Possession arrow favoring the Breakers. 5-10 left in the third quarter. Breakers inching away here, getting into the game. One point. 24-23 Cutbank. Clevenger will get the inbound. She's guarded by Sienna Spotted Bear. Finnerland will pick her up at half court on the near side. Allows her to dribble in to the near corner. Foot underneath to Walker. Walker overplayed by Finnerland. Shot won't go. She puts it in high up off the glass. It bounces around. Clevenger fights for it. And it's Spotted Bear that picks it up. And Copang, I believe, is going to be called for the foul. It is as she was trying to double help Kelsey Ash out with a double team. That'll be her first. Kelsey Esch will have a seat. That'll bring in Natalie Clevenger. So Walker, Copang, Sam and Natalie Clevenger. And Denning on the court for the Breakers. Finnerland will go to Sienna Spotted Bear. Back to Finnerland very quickly. She'll drive in. Shoulder up against Clevenger. Finnerland will get her own rebound. Hook off the glass. It'll bounce and goes in. And Cutbank's got their first points in the paint of the half. Makes it 23-26. Cutbank. Walker's going to drive. Splits, and she'll get the back points. And the end one. Laney Walker driving hard. And she'll go for the end one. Foul 
against Sienna Spotted Bear, her first. They'll bring Seifert on, off I mean, and bring Black back on. Walker looking to tie it up. And she will with the free throw. Timeout called by Missoula. Tied at 26, 4.23 left. You will be right back on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Locally owned Paradise Falls is a place for friends and family to enjoy good food and good times with a diverse menu and a fun atmosphere that includes nearly 30 TVs showing every sport imaginable. Paradise Falls is sure to have something for everyone. Plonk. It's a unique bar and restaurant in Bozeman. It was a big financial decision to find the right bank for our growing business. We decided on Opportunity Bank of Montana. They have great mobile banking, which is good, because we're always on the go. I already had a home mortgage with them with great interest rates. We met with Bert, our new banker, our friend, and now we have a second restaurant in Missoula. It was a great opportunity. Locally owned Paradise Falls is a place for friends and family to enjoy good food and good times with a diverse... Welcome back to MPSN. Sorry about that, folks. Little jumpy on the controls here. Coming out of the timeout, tied at 26. 4.23 left in the third quarter. The Breakers digging, clawing, scratching, getting into this game as they were down 16-5. to They didn't score their first points until four minutes left in the first quarter. Cutbank on the run. Finstad will turn, shoots off the rim, but... She draws the foul, and Bryn Finstad will go to the free throw line for the first time. And Denning will pick up the foul. That's Denning's first. Second shot. Finstad won't be able to get to go. She's 0 for 2 at the line. Walker will bring it up far side. We'll split Finstad and Finderlin, and they're going to say double dribble on Walker. Tied at 26, 4.07 left in the half. The Loyola Rams in the building watching the Breakers. They'll have the 5.30 game. Poked by Walker, but spot a bear control. She'll drive in against Denning. Shot no good. Rebound out to Copang. Copang will drive. She's got Finderlin off the glass. No good. There is Sam Clevenger. She'll throw it up. Shot no good. Bounces around. Volleyball match underneath the basket is Natalie Clevenger will have the shot. Now Copang drives in and she'll draw the foul. And they're going to say Black picked up the foul. It'll be her second. Sydney Copang, two for five in the second quarter, will shoot two. She'll knock down the first one. That'll bring Seifert back in. And Black will have a seat on the bench. Seifert playing with two, as well as Anato. Here's the shot. Off the front of the rim and rebounded by Cutbank. Spotted Bear to bring it up. Breaking the press. Finderlin dribbles behind her back. Now drives in on Natalie Clevenger. They'll find Seifert. Seifert will spin high shot. It'll rattle in. That'll be her first points of the third quarter. Walker on the run. Seifert with a poke at it, but Walker too strong, and it'll fall in. Walker's got four in the third quarter to make it 29-28. Breakers, 3-11 left in the third. Good job by Walker on the defense, and she'll be fouled. This will be Finnerland's fourth if it is on her, and that's who they call it on. Kelsey Ash will come in. That'll send Kopang to the bench. And Cutbank will bring in Macy Berry. And Walker will shoot. And she'll knock it down. 
Bonus time here with three minutes left in the third quarter as Walker sets her right foot. That shot is no good and rebounded by Seifert. Gets it out to Barry. Barry doubled up and Walker is there. It's out of bounds off of Walker's knee. This will be cut bank ball in front of the breaker bench on the near side. So Coach Walker being very aggressive here against Cutbank, and it's showing good dividends. This one's thrown right into Denning on the inbound. Clevenger gets it to Walker. Walker gives it off. Here's the shot by Natalie Clevenger. Denning is there. Denning will turn, and she'll be stuffed by Seifert. Finstad turns right into Walker, and the whistle's blown. Laney Walker will pick up her third. Copang will come in, Walker will have a seat. So we'll have Esh, Walker, Sam and Natalie Clevenger, and Denning, and a timeout is called. Breakers with the lead, 30-28, 2.47 left in the third. We'll step aside. You're listening to Missoula Sport or Loyola Sports on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Locally owned Paradise Falls is a place for friends and family to enjoy breakfast, lunch, and dinner seven days a week. With a diverse menu and a fun atmosphere that includes nearly 30 TVs showing every sport imaginable, Paradise Falls is sure to have something for everyone. Welcome back to MPSN. Coming out of the timeout, called by Cutbank. Loyola leading 30-28. They have dug in. Coach Walker coming out with an aggressive game plan and attacking the height of this Cutbank team. 2.47 left in the third quarter. And it shows on the foul part of the stat book. Cut bank to inbound on the far side as rides at the door. Finstad, Spotted Bear, uh, Jasmine Spotted Bear have three. Finland has four. Seifert, Anato with two as this one's going to be shot and dropped by Big Spring to tie it at 30. Natalie Clevenger brings it up court, the pass to Copang. Copang's going to drive in, the hopper from just outside the free throw line, and it's rebounded by Big Spring. Big Spring crosses over, Copang is there, gives it off to Seifert, and it's Spotted Bear once again. Spotted Bear on the far side, dribbles to the top. Swings it to Spotted Bear, and the entry pass is poked away. Kelsey Ash with the push. And numbers favoring the breakers. Here's the long jumper, and Sydney Copang will knock it down to make it 32 30. Breakers and Spotter Bear gets it out, and we're going to get a whistle. And I believe Natalie Clevenger is going to be called for the reach. That's exactly who gets tagged. That'll be her third. Twite will come in and Natalie will have a seat. Black comes in and Seifert will have a seat for Cutbank. So Esh, Twite, Sam Clevenger, Denning, and Copang on the court for the Breakers. It's Big Springs, Spotted Bear, the Spotted Bear sisters, Black, and Finstad as the pass to Spotted Bear on the far side is too wide and it's Breaker ball. 135 left in the third, 32 30, Loyola. Copang to inbound with the press in the face. Here's the pass to Twite. Twite will bring it up with Spotted Bear. Copang now has it, crosses half court on the run with 90 seconds left in the third. She'll drive in and she's going to be fouled. Black. Let's just double check. That's exactly who picks it up. So that'll be Black's third. And Sydney Copang. to shoot two. First one off the front of the rim. So that, that makes rides at the door, Finstad, spot, uh, Jasmine Spotted Bear, Black, all with three. First, second one won't go for Copan. Jasmine Spotted Bear brings it up. Finstad on the near baseline. She'll drive the baseline. Spins and a 
reach by Esch will draw the foul and that should put it at the bonus level as Kelsey brings picks up her second. And I'm behind one on Kelsey as the big board says three. Free throw no good into Finstad. Has her pocket pick from the back side by Sam Clevenger. Now we get a jump ball, possession arrow favoring Cutbank. 69 seconds left in the third quarter. 32-30. Breakers. Libel will come in. Kelsey Ash will have a seat. The inbound, spotted bear, and Copang will take it away from Black. Bounce pass to Sam Clevenger. She'll drive in, poked out from behind, but Sam's shot strong, and it's 34-30. Largest lead of the breakers on the day. 55 seconds left in the third. Shot by Finstad will go in. Make it 34-32. 47 seconds left. Dwight crosses half court on the near side. Finds Libel in the baseline. Now it's back to Twight. She'll stop. Goes to Denning and a wide pass to Twight. Cut bank ball at half court in front of the scores table. 36.7 left in the third. Spotted Bear. Picks up her dribble at the top, swings it, big spring with the jumper, shot no good. And Black will go up and she'll draw the foul. Ariana Black will go to the free throw line for her first time today to shoot two. And Ashton Libel will pick up her second. Free throw goes in. Libel will come off, and that will bring in Molly McHugh for the first time. Shot is up off the back of the rim. It'll hit the front of the rim and falls in. So Black two for two to tie it up at 34. 24 seconds left in the third. Copang to drive. Finds Denning on the baseline. Now back out to McHugh. McHugh swings it to Sam Clevenger. Clevenger will drive in, and Finstad will poke at it. Breaker ball in front of their bench to the right of me with 14.5 left in the third. The Ramley. Making up the majority of the fans in the stands. Here's Copang with three outside and Twight will fight for it. It's kicked out of bounds. One point eight left on the clock. Copang to inbound. Here's Sam Clevenger, three pointer, and it's no good as it's blocked. And that's how the third quarter will end, folks. The Loyola and Cutbank tied at 34. We'll be back with the fourth quarter right after this. Plunk. It's a unique bar and restaurant in Bozeman. It was a big financial decision to find the right bank for our growing business. We decided on Opportunity Bank of Montana. They have great mobile banking, which is good, because we're always on the go. I already had a home mortgage with them with great interest rates. We met with Bert, our new banker, our friend, and now we have a second restaurant in Missoula. It was a great opportunity. Have you recently found yourself in a situation where you need a lawyer? Give our friends at Tip Coburn & Associates a call today. They have been practicing injury, employment, and criminal defense in addition to other areas of law for the past 55 years. Give Tip Coburn & Associates a call today at 406-549-5186 or stop by their website at www.tipcoburnandassociates.com. Tip Coburn & Associates, lawyers fighting for Montana since 1959 and proud sponsors of Missoula Pep Sports on MPSN. Welcome back to Shelby, Montana for the start of the fourth quarter between the Loyola Breakers and the Cutbank Wolves. Tied at 34. Florence Boys coming up next. Sydney Copang to receive the inbound pass. Breakers going left to right. 
Hand off to Walker at the top. Gets a screen by Clevenger. She'll drive in off the glass. The rim, no good, and it's rebounded by a big spring. Big spring will drive. Picks up her dribble. Now it's Spotted Bear. Spotted Bear bounce pass to rides at the door. Black and Black will spin through the defense off the glass, and it's good. And Cutbank will go ahead and jump into the press. Inbound to Copang. Copang picked up by Natalie Spotted Bear. Or Sienna Spotted Bear, I apologize. Walker at the top with it. Hand off to Copang. Copang will drive into the free throw line. Now the swing pass to Natalie Clevenger. Bounce pass to Walker. Walker gets a screen by Sam Clevenger. Hand off to Esh. So we've got the Clevenger sisters, Esh. Copang and Walker on the court for the breakers. The handoff to Kelsey on the far side. She's picked up very quickly by a big spring. She'll drive in off the back of the rim. No good and rebounded. Fought for and Sam Clevenger will come up with it. Walker on the far side. Bounce pass to Kelsey. She'll drive in. Shot. Nope. She goes to Sam underneath the basket. Sam Clevenger gets the kiss off the glass. And it's tied at 36 with 640 left in the game. Near side, bounce pass, now to the top, big spring far side, rides the door, now fed into black, she'll pivot, spin, shot off the glass and she'll draw the foul. Sydney Copang picking up her second. So nine fouls as a team for the Breakers as Black will put the first one in. Eight as a team for Cutbank. Second one for Black is off the back of the rim. Fought for, we get a whistle jump ball as Natalie Clevenger and Sienna Spotted Bear tie up, possession arrow, cut bank. Black will inbound, comes to Spotted Bear, poked at by Natalie Clevenger. It's cut bank ball. They'll inbound in front of their own bench right below me. Big Spring will come over for the inbound. Spotted Bear gets it. She'll swing it to her sister on the far side. Kelsey Ash gets a foot on it, out of bounds, cut bank ball, far side. 6-12 left in the game, 37-36, cut bank. Here's Spotted Bear at the top, and Natalie Clevenger gets a poke on it, rides to the door, will shoot it, Black will spin into Sam Clevenger, rides to the door, off the glass, and it goes in, and that's the first points in the paint for rides at the door in the game. Copang to push it. Sam Clevenger can't control her dribble and Rides at the Door comes up with it. Rides at the Door stops and it's poked away by Walker. Walker's got Rides at the Door to beat and she'll put it in. Laney Walker for two. And they're going to tee up the Loyola bench. So Black will go to the free throw line to shoot free throws. And they're going to tee up Chris Clevenger, the assistant coach, as Black misses the first one. Second one won't go for Black. Cut bank to inbound, far side. 5.42 left in the game. Spotted Bear will bring it, comes to her sister Sienna on the near side. Back to Jasmine. Jasmine will dribble, picks up her dribble, now back to Sienna. Fed in, black, black, blocked by Copang. Copang to control, press set, Copang will drive. Copang gets doubled, gets it off to Walker on the far side. Settling in is the defense now. Esh, bounce pass to Copang. She had the open three, swings it to Walker, baseline, and she's going to be fouled by Black. 
That'll be number four for Ariana Black. As Laney Walker goes to the free throw line. First one for Walker goes in. Official says one, bounces it back to Walker. She sets her right foot at the line, and now the shot. Second one off the rim, the glass, and it will go in. 39 all, or 40 to 39, breakers. 5-10 left in the game. Rides at the door, near side to Big Spring. Now to the top to Spotted Bear. Jasmine will drive it into the free throw line, picks up her dribble, goes to Big Spring. Swings it out to Sierra, Sienna. Now Black on the baseline, and she'll knock it down. Ariana Black has got four points in the fourth quarter. Whistle blown. Spotted Bear, Jasmine will pick up her fourth foul. That's double bonus time now for both teams. And Laney Walker will go to the line to shoot two. She'll knock down the first one. Second shot is in the air, and she'll swish that one in. 42-41, breakers inbound, and we're going to get a timeout cup called by Cup Bank. 4.55 left in the game. It's a good one here in Shelby as the Breakers lead by one. We'll be back right after this on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Construction is tough work. Lonebro is an energy services company with more than 900 employees. Lonebro's third largest expense was health insurance. Payne West partnered with Lonebro to create a health and wellness program. Lonebro built an in-house gym and together we developed the biometric screening program. Since initiating our program, our employees are happier, healthier, and more productive, and our costs are lower. Payne West Insurance, a partner in the health of your business. Locally owned Paradise Falls is a place for friends and family to enjoy breakfast, lunch, and dinner seven days a week. With a diverse menu and a fun atmosphere that includes nearly 30 TVs showing every sport imaginable, Paradise Falls is sure to have something for everyone. Welcome back to Shelby, Montana. Chris Stratton for MPSN as we are 4.55 away from the end of the game. It's a good one between the cut bank and the breakers. 42-41. One point advantage in favor of Loyola. Cut bank ball out of the timeout. They'll inbound underneath the breaker basket to the right of us. Spotted Bear, Finderlin, Big Spring, Seifert, and rides at the door in for cut bank. It's Walker. Natalie and Sam Clevenger, Copang and Kelsey Esch for the Breakers. Double team, high pass into the bench of Cutbank. Breaker ball. 4.45 left. 42-41. Bounce pass to Copang. Copang will drive, gives it off to Sam. Sam picks up her dribble. It's poked back into her face, and Clev er, Copang will come up with it. Tries to hand it off to Walker. Walker with the short kiss off the glass. It's rebounded and fed up to Big... Or to ride to the door and ride to the door with a double dribble. Turnover. Breaker ball, 430 left in the game. 42-41. Walker to bring it up court. Spotted bear in her face. She'll come from the near side to the far side. Crosses half court. Swings it. Esh fakes the three. Now dribbles out of the far corner. Pivots, gives it off to Copang. Copang will back off. Now dribbles to the top. 4.14 left. Dribbles between her legs. Has to recover. Spotted Bear with the poke. Copang to the near side. She'll find Esh. Esh fakes the three. Dribbles out. Crosses over. Finderlin will poke it up and Esh will get called for the double dribble. Finderlin got a hand on it, but they're going to go ahead and say that and poked it away. Cut bank will inbound in front of the breaker bench. Finderlin will get it. Brings it up on the run on the near side. 
Finderland, cross court to spot a bear. She drives in, shot high, bounces around, and it's good. Spot a bear with two points. Makes it 43-42. Cut bank, bounce pass to Copang into the near corner, and they're gonna say Copang stepped on the line. Cut bank to inbound in front of the breaker bench as Coach Walker coaches his girls up as they stand there next to him. Big Spring gets the inbound. Now it's up to Seifert. Seifert will dribble in, free throw line. Poked out from behind by Walker. Walker runs into Spotted Bear, hands it off to Clevenger. Sam Clevenger will drive in. Finderlin is there, off the glass, no good. Rebound, poked at, and it comes down in the hands of Ash. She'll feed it into Copang, and we get a whistle. And Finderlin is done with five at 322. Black will come in and Sydney Copang will shit will shoot two on the double bonus. First one, nothing but the bottom of the net. She is one for four going into this opportunity in the half. Three for nine on the game. Here's the second one. Knocks it down. 44-43 breakers. 320. Spotted Bear with it. And we get a whistle. Spotted Bear will be called for the elbow. That'll be number five for Spotted Bear. She's done at 315. And that will bring in London Raymaker for Cutbank. 3.15 left in the game, 44-43 breakers. Here is Copang, dribbles to the near side, hands it off to Natalie Clevenger, gets a screen from Sam. Now the swing pass to Copang. Copang at the top, 3.03. Now gives it off to Kelsey. Kelsey will dribble around the top. Tries to get the pass and it's poked away by Ride to the Door. And Ride to the Door and Esch will tie up for the jump ball. Possession arrow in favor of Loyola. 2.52. Here comes Finstad. Sienna Spotted Bear will come out. So Big Spring, Finstad, Black. Raymaker and rides at the door in for Cutbank. Gets Copang, Walker, Sam Clevenger, who gets the inbound. She'll go up and it'll rattle in. Sam Clevenger will have four in the fourth quarter. And Ramaker will throw it out of bounds with 244. The Breakers with a three point lead 46 43. That's Sam and Natalie Clevenger. Copang, Walker, as Sam Clevenger spins and puts it in. 48-43, up to rides of the door. She'll pick up her dribble. Kelsey Esch is there. They'll go to the top to Finstad. A whistle and Cutbank calls the timeout. 2.30 left in the game. Loyola leads 48-43. You're listening to Loyola Sports on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Locally owned Paradise Falls is a place for friends and family to enjoy good food and good times with a diverse menu and a fun atmosphere that includes nearly 30 TVs showing every sport imaginable. Paradise Falls is sure to have something for everyone. Have you recently found yourself in a situation where you need a lawyer? Give our friends at Tip Coburn & Associates a call today. They have been practicing injury, employment, and criminal defense in addition to other areas of law for the past 55 years. Give Tip Coburn & Associates a call today at 406-549-5186 or stop by their website at www.tipcoburnandassociates.com. Tip Coburn & Associates, lawyers fighting for Montana since 1959 and proud sponsors of Missoula Prep Sports on MPSN. Welcome back to Shelby, Montana. Chris Stratton for the 2018 Coyote Classic. Loyola Breakers lead 48-43 over Cutbank. 2.30 left in the game. Finstad will get the inbound out of the timeout and poked out of bounds by Natalie Clevenger. The Breakers will have the Clevenger sisters 
as well as Walker, Esch, and Copang on the court. Black will get the inbound, poked away, rides at the door, and we get a whistle, or will it be jump ball? Yes, possession arrow in favor of Cutbank. Two twenty. Got a bunch of noise going on and they were stopping the game. This is gonna be bounced off of Sam Clevenger's knee. Next game is gonna be the Florence boys. They are waiting in the wings, Malta as well. Here's the inbound to Black and Finstad will get the bounce and Copang says that was off of Finstad and the official says no. Here comes the Malta boys. They're getting ready to go. Here's the pass, Black will shoot the three and it's an air ball. Copang with the rebound. On the run now. Natalie Clevenger saved out of inbounds. Big Spring comes up with it. Black will get it and it's rides at the door. Rides at the door, throws it right to Walker. Bounce pass to Clevenger. Clevenger off the glass and one. Sam Clevenger coming alive in the fourth quarter. She's got eight points in the paint for the breakers. She's going to go to the line for an N1. Three for five in the first half. Three for four in the first in the second quarter, I should say. 155 left in the game. The end one opportunity not good. 50, 43, 150 left in the game. Kelsey Ash gets a poke at it, but it's controlled by Cutbank. Raymaker off the hip. Big spring. Black will shoot it up and she'll knock it down. The bigs for Cutbank have got some game. Here's Walker on the run. Black is there. No whistle. Out of bounds off of Black. And this will be breaker ball underneath their own basket. 91 seconds on the clock. 50 45. Loyola. Copang to inbound. High to Sam Clevenger who gives it off to Natalie. Natalie Clevenger dribbles at the top. She'll drive in. Now the swing to Esch to Walker at the top. Walker with a bounce pass to Clevenger. Back to Walker. Walker on the drive to Raymaker. Swings it. Copang. 75 seconds left. To the top to Natalie. And Copang. And now she'll be fouled by a Raymaker. It'll be her first and... Sydney Copang will go to the charity stripe. The one thing a lot of folks, fans, players, coaches, administrators said that they'd like to see the high school association go to as Copang will knock down the first one is a shot clock. Rides at the door, will have a seat. And that'll bring in Barry. You get down to the end of these games where it's a five point game and teams are just playing catch, which is a good strategy as Copang knocks down the second one to make it 52-45. Cut bank on the run, Walker with a poke at it. Walker with the run now, Walker off the glass. It's good and Laney Walker will have four in the fourth to make it 54-45, 54 seconds. And this is kind of where it ran away for Cut Bank yesterday in their loss. It was a tight game all the way through the first three quarters as Finstead will have the hook shot. And a timeout called with 45 seconds left on the clock. 54-47. We'll step aside. You're listening to Loyola Sports on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. The Round Carlino Investment Planning Group of D.A. Davidson & Company is a proud supporter of Loyola Sacred Heart Athletics. D.A. Davidson & Company is your hometown investment team. As certified financial planners, Ray Round and Sidney Carlino create smart strategy of wealth planning and investment management. Take advantage of the largest full-service investment firm in the Northwest and Ray and Sidney's experience. Call 543-8244 today. D.A. Davidson & Company, member SIPC, the strength of advice. Locally owned Paradise Falls is a place for friends and family to enjoy good food and good times. With a diverse menu and a fun atmosphere that includes nearly 30 TVs showing every sport imaginable, Paradise Falls is sure to have something for everyone.
Welcome back to Shelby, Montana, where the where the banners hang high for the Coyotes. Loyola leading Cutbank 54-47. Hello, everyone. Good morning. Chris Stratton for the Missoula Prep Sports Network as we are just 45 seconds away from the opening game on the Saturday portion of the tournament. Closing out, Breakers leading 54-47. Florence and Malta boys waiting in the wings. Copang will inbound underneath the Cutbank basket to the left. Cutbank set into a tight full court press. Clevenger is going to get the throw up court. Finstad is there and Finstad will foul Clevenger. That will be number four on Finstad. 42.2 and Sam Clevenger will go to the line. Double bonus, so she'll shoot two. The Loyola Rams will have the 5.30 game as they take on the tournament host, Shelby Coyotes. Shot in the air. First one for Clevenger will go in. Coach Walker has his breaker squad rolling right now. Second one will fall in for Clevenger. 56-47. 40 seconds left. Rides at the door. Hands it off to Big Spring. Bounce pass into Finstad. Finstad will turn and she'll be fouled. Laney Walker, I think, is the one to pick it up. And that's exactly who gets it. It'll be her fourth. And that'll put Finstad at the line. She is 0 for 2 here in the game. Double bonus. First one for Finstad. Off the rim, the glass, the rim, and falls short. 31.4 left on the clock. Here's the shot. Knocked down. One for two is Finstad. 48-56, and Walker is fouled by Finstad. That'll be her fifth with 28 Point three. That'll bring Black back in. Kelsey Esch will have a seat and Denning will come in for the breakers and Laney Walker. To shoot two. First one for Walker is good. Laney Walker has been a fun one to watch, folks. Got to know her during the soccer season. She is a freshman, but she is a firecracker. The second one is off the rim. She can take the tide of the game and put it right on her back as Ramucker is stuffed by Copang. Out of bounds, 18.7. Kelsey Esch to come in. And Natalie Clevenger to have a seat. Black will get the inbound. She'll shoot it off the glass, and it goes in. She's got eight in the fourth. Ten seconds as Walker crosses midcourt. Eight seconds. Fouled. And Walker will go to the line. Is that rides at the door? No. They're going to give it to Barry. That is her first. So Laney Walker... To shoot two, she'll rattle the first one down. Second one for Walker off the front of the rim. Brought down by Barry. Barry will run. Three seconds, two seconds, one second as Barry shoots. Shot no good. Esch for the rebound. And the Loyola Breakers will come away with the win over the Cutbank Wolves. So Loyola gets the win. 58 to 50 to go 2 and 0 to start their season. We'll step aside. I'll have halftime stats for you right after this. You're listening to Loyal or Endgame Stats. You're listening to Loyola Sports on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Plonk. It's a unique bar and restaurant in Bozeman. It was a big financial decision to find the right bank for our growing business. We decided on Opportunity Bank of Montana. They have great mobile banking, which is good, because we're always on the go. I already had a home mortgage with them, with great interest rates. We met with Bert, our new banker, our friend. 
And now we have a second restaurant in Missoula. It was a great opportunity. Have you recently found yourself in a situation where you need a lawyer? Give our friends at Tip Coburn and Associates a call today. They have been practicing injury, employment, and criminal defense in addition to other areas of law for the past 55 years. Give Tip Coburn and Associates a call today at 406-549-5186 or stop by their website at www.tipcoburnandassociates.com. Tip Coburn and Associates, lawyers fighting for Montana since 1959 and proud sponsors of Missoula Pep Sports on MPSN. Welcome back to MPSN as we have the Breakers going 2-0 and at the 2018 Coyote Classic, taking down Cut Bank 58-51. Cut Bank, their leading scorer, Ariana Black, 13 points. Bryn Finstad with 7. Madison Seifert with nine. JC Finstead or Finland with eight. Those are your scoring leaders for the Cutbank Wolves. Now for the Loyola Breakers, their scoring leader. Well, they had a pair as Laney Walker and Sam Clevenger scored 19 apiece. Sydney Copang with 11 and Kelsey Esch with six. The big one to look at though for the breakers is Laney Walker. Nine for 13 at the free throw line and Sydney Copang. Seven for 16 from the free throw line. So big day, big morning for the Loyola breakers. They'll become spectators and watch the boys play at 5.30. We'll have that game for you. Tip-off scheduled for 5.30. We'll talk to you then. Have a great Saturday, and we'll talk to you soon. Thank you for tuning in to this presentation of Missoula Sports. What a rush. MPSN's coverage of Missoula Sports is proudly powered by Fuel Fitness. Always, always, always. Tune in next time when the Missoula Prep Sports Network has coverage of your local sports heroes. Wee!